Mr. Sabo, a resident of Mount Airy, Philadelphia, contacted the Pendable Concrete to repoint his damaged stone retaining wall. In this video, I would demonstrate to you how my crew and I restored his wall. And at the end of the video, I would also discuss the mixed ratio of the brown tone mortar that was used to repoint this wall. Now, let's swoop down and take a look at Mr. Sable's wall. It's clear that Mr. Sable's stone retaining wall is in desperate need of repair. There are missing mortar joints throughout the wall and bulging and missing stone at the center of the wall. Come and let me show you how I restored this wall for Mr. Sabo. Repoint it all around. Just start right here and come around. Yeah. Now, what you're going to need too, th that you don't have here, you're going to need drain holes. Okay. Because that's part of the problem here. How come? If they had drain holes, they're, they're, they're covered up or, or something, but they should be there. Okay. Just like your neighbor here. here. Just to let water that's yeah, in, the, the water, in the ground. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, so you need like five, four, so one, two, you need about five. So do you have to excavate? No, 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 we just drill a bunch of holes in. Oh, you do? Then we, yep, mm-hmm. And then we just put in a uh, little PVC. Uh-huh. Yep, and then that, that makes a big difference. Does it really? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, hmm. yes. This section of Mr. Sable's wall requires the most attention. As you can see, there are missing stones. The wall is bulging and there are several decayed and rotten stones that have to be replaced. This area is horrible, but Mr. Sable called Dependable Concrete. Stay tuned because we will restore this ugly wall to highlight the beauty of having a stone wall. Up to this point, we have removed the rotten mortar joints from the wall. We are now drilling into the wall to install the 3 inch PVC tubing which will redirect the hydraulic pressure through these 5 new drains. Although we entirely removed the damaged mortar joints, this would not guarantee that Mr. Sable's newly pointed wall would be durable enough to stand against the elements, unless we properly prepare the area to receive the fresh mortar. It's critical to clean and free the area between each layer of stone from any loose material. Any material which interferes with the contact between the fresh mortar and the stone will cause the pointing to prematurely fail. We don't want Mr. Sable angrily calling us back. Remember, we are dependable concrete. When we point the wall, we restore the joints matching the original style. For our mix design, we use a 1 to 5 mix ratio, 1 part Portland cement to 5 parts brown sand. We use brown sand to achieve an aged, earthy tone opposed to the white tone of new mortar. Brown tone mortar make this job appear as if it was completed many years ago. In the description section of this video, I will list all of the tools and supplies used to complete this project. This wall has now been restored to reveal the beauty of having a stone wall. We removed the bulge, plumbed and leveled the wall, we matched the style of the original pointing and installed a pressure relief system to protect the wall from hydraulic force. Mr. Sable now have drains that are centered to maximize their effectiveness. If water is present behind the wall, I can't stress how important it is to have these drains. When a wall is out of plumb, it's usually because the drains are not present. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Dependable Concrete's channel. This will allow me to inform you on the product we use to complete this project. I immediately respond to all questions and comments, so please leave a question or comment below. Please click on the yellow mixer icon on the screen to subscribe to see more of our videos and to fly with us to our next project.